going on guys welcome back to the channel so it looks like microsoft is looking to purchase discord and a lot of people are either worried or upset about this or really just confused by the whole situation either way we're going to talk about this and break this down and why i see why they're looking at discord the way they are now you guys already know the situation with zenimax microsoft coughed up 7.5 billion dollars to acquire zenimax and in the return microsoft got ownership of bethesda and all the first party games from bethesda and now those games are added to game pass and game pass has actually got a lot more popular since that announcement after their acquisition now 7.5 billion dollars just for bethesda Microsoft is looking to go even more further with this and pay up to $10 billion just to get Discord into their actual video game chat community. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering why do they want Discord and why in God's name would anybody support them having Discord? Here's the thing. Microsoft has been pushing cross progression, cross play for the longest time. And since majority of us on here on YouTube, let's face it, we are all in discords. We all have our own custom discord in some way or fashion. We all do podcasts around discord. And a lot of us have actually wanted discord in our consoles. This basically goes right back to that conversation. And this is what Microsoft is looking into. They want to incorporate this into their online infrastructure. So that way, believe it or not, they can actually make the blur or should I say the transition to PC and console that much more seamless than it's already been i mean think about it what is one of the biggest gripes when you're playing a like a um a team-based game whether it be call of duty whether it be road company or hell even rocket league right and you can't even so much interact with the people that you're talking to in terms of actually telling them you know where an enemy is where the ball is coming from where you're going in the direction this type of stuff is going to actually help remedy that and actually help them in the situations here so that's what they basically want and to tell you the truth this is cool for even like you know your friends list let's say you have a group of people that you only talk to let's say you have a group of like five or seven maybe 10 or 11 you can create your own custom server have that strictly for your group and you can always be in touch with those guys without having the you know the the hassle of going down your friends list and finding them or waiting for them to appear online etc etc there are definitely benefits to owning discord in this particular fashion and i know a lot of people again let's go ahead and get into the negative part because i know a lot of people are a little like upset about this or looking at this weird like oh why would we be a you know, why would we support this because of what happened with mixer i agree a lot of people move their platforms to mixer and microsoft pretty much pulled the plug on mixer because it didn't really hit the expectations that they wanted however i don't see microsoft doing anything of that nature with discord if discord sells for 10 billion i don't see them doing that as discord is definitely going to be you know more beneficial to them than mixer mixer was a cool option for streamers it was a nice open type of platform to help people get out there and reach you know a certain audience and push their platforms it was a cool way of going about it and it actually had more bandwidth than twitch but unfortunately again microsoft didn't see the value in it but when it comes to Discord, here's where another thing Microsoft more likely is going to benefit from purchasing Discord. Um, Discord introduced the Nitro system. For those of you that don't know what the Nitro system is, it's basically like a server booster. You can boost the bandwidth of each particular server that you know you're a part of if you want to. And this right here gives you access to more emotes that can be added to the actual server. This gives you more bandwidth for you know a more stable connection when you're actually in party chats in general, things of that nature. I see, you know, if they actually do this and it happens, I can see Game Pass being tied into that and you get a discount or you get, you know, a free server boost just for being a part of Game Pass. See what I'm saying here? That's a way, that's a perk of Game Pass I can see happening down the road if they want to do something like that. Get free server boost, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of cool things they can do with Discord. And honestly, I don't really see a bad thing about this at all especially when we're talking about innovating the overall online experience. I've been asking for this for the longest time. I play with a lot of PC guys like my homie Kofi and everybody. And we all talk about, you know, Discord needing to be on our platform. You can even ask Broken Games HD. He'll vouch for me. He'll tell you. Yeah, <laughs> Discord definitely needs to be on consoles in one way or another. And I honestly, I couldn't agree more. So that's pretty much the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys on the next one. This is your boy, Big Cloud, aka Ryan, signing out. And y'all have a good one. Later.